Hi drummers, hope you're well. Another little student request for you here. This is the intro to The Great Rock and Roll by Led Zeppelin. It goes like this. Now the big idea with this is it comes in on the and of beat three. Now when I was a kid, I misheard this for a while actually, as starting on beat one, I think a lot of people do, it starts on the end of beat three. Think of something like Jailhouse Rock, if you know that. One, two, one, two, three, ba, ba, that kind of first guitar hit on the end of beat three, right? One and two, and one and two and three, ah, da. And I think really John Bonham and Led Zeppelin were thinking in those terms. I certainly think in terms of that sort of phrasing when I start this off. I'm gonna play the whole thing and I'll count along so we'll see what's going on here. It's both sticks together all the way. Um, there's an accent pattern. So some of the, the hits you hit stronger than others. Uh, let's just play it a couple of times to get the feel. One and two and three. I'll do that again. One and two and three. Again, I can't stress that enough, both hands together all the way. Once the main groove kicks in, once that guitar riff lands and you're up and running, it's just a bit like a Chicago shuffle if you ever played that. Both sticks together all the way, but a big accented backbeat on two and four, otherwise nice quiet snare drum. So once the main groove has come in, so the kick plays one and three, like a basic straight eights feel, but unusually, I guess, both his sticks are together. I'm gonna play the intro going into the uh, main groove a few times. Here it comes. One, two, one and two and three. again one two one and two and three and a little quicker one two one and two and three One time, just a little faster. One, two, one, and two, and three. So, hope that all makes a bit of sense. Absolutely classic intro. It starts on the end of beat three. Can't stress that enough. Uh, played this quite a lot. I just, obviously, as you do over the years, jammed it with other musicians. And a lot of people just, even like pro musicians, don't haven't quite figured out where that drum intro starts. I can't stress it enough, starts on the and of beat three. One and two and three and four and one. The second of the accents is on beat one. One of the little detail I would say is that, as you can hear there, it's mostly like quiet snare drums and then the loud accents amongst it. In the intro, I'd say the quiet snare drums are a bit stronger versus when you hit the, the main riff and when the rest of the tune comes in, the quiet snare drums are a little bit quieter. So on the drum intro, you can kind of Play up a bit, I'd say, with the non-accented notes. So one, two, three. Once the main groove drops, it feels like to me, and certainly what seems to work when playing it live, is to just bring those non-accented snare drums down as much as you can. Hope that makes a bit of sense. That's an all-time classic. Absolutely love that tune and a great suggestion. Thanks so much for watching as always. And uh, please like, share and subscribe. Appreciate that so much. If you do subscribe and you want to get a notification every time I upload a video, please press the little bell icon. Thanks to all the lovely people who support this channel uh, by donating at Buy Me A Coffee and all the details of that are below. Another great way to support this channel is to visit my Amazon store. That's amazon.co.uk slash 
uh, shop slash Mike Barnes Drums. Again, details in the description below. And thanks a million for watching and for being here. And I'll get to all the requests uh, as, as quickly as I can. Uh, the setup here is still improving, so bear with us. I know there's a bit of camera shake going on, all that kind of stuff. But I just thought I'd keep going and slinging up videos uh, for now. Thanks a million. I'll see you soon. Thanks so much.